channel, it's me, it's like, nah, nah, no, Brian, welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video. Well, I'm going to be away for the weekend. Um, I'm going to be at my parents' house uh, because it is my birthday over this weekend. So, I figured I better get a video out just before then real quick. Uh, I've decided I, I wasn't able to arrange my um, top 16 match, unfortunately, for... For now, but I I decided instead I'll go for the first get, try to get ahead a little bit in the season seven uh, TTS league because that one started up of course um, and you know for the for the sake of uh, difference I am going to be playing my Yoda Ezra rookie with uh, some some slight modifications and I'm up against a long term planning partisan rose deck uh, which terrifies me because this to me says mill. Um, and I'm of course a vehicle deck, so typically that's really bad against Mill. But I did start with a double Hellfire Droid, which is it's really good, um, but not good enough. I don't think. Then again, he's he's playing Weapons Factory Alpha, so he might be vehicles himself. Um, I don't think I want both of them though. Is the problem? Um, I think I kind of really would like um some something that gives me money, uh, like a chance cube or something. So, uh, let's let's try for that instead. Um, didn't get it. I got Defensive Racing, which is not that particularly useful. I got Double Resistance Craft Speeder. Now, Resistance Craft Speeder is interesting um, because it allows me to increase the value of it by one uh, for one time. So, you can get two resources out of that thing, which is pretty effective. Um, and I ended up getting... N wow, he, he, he max rolled. Okay. Uh, yeah... Ouch. So he max rolled. He's going to get the extra resource uh, start from the Weapons Factory Alpha. I'm going to get shields, though. Actually, these characters are completely lined up the wrong way around. Um, my characters are completely the wrong order there. Uh, so let's, let's fix that. There we go. There we go. This is the Metal Gear Ray, I remember. All right. So... R2-D2 with the resistance speed to crafts might be able to get me some money, some early money here. Uh, I am very worried though about this. These guys can mill, um, and that, that scares me heavily. Uh, but I can always steal his resource with Ezra still. I've got to remember that this is, this is very similar to, this is just Metal Gear Ray. At the end of the day, this is Yoda Ezra. This is what, what I'm playing. And I keep referencing, uh, Metal Gear Ray, um, Y-Wing Star, ouch. Uh, even though I know pretty much everyone is now calling this drive-by shooting. Uh, but, you know, uh, I mean, Metal Gear Ray has its own history with me, right? I I wanted to make... I, I originally had a Ray deck, and then I got rid of the Ray, but I wanted to keep calling it Ray, and I like Metal Gear, and Metal Gear kind of works because, um, you know, uh, vehicles... And he rolled double blanks, so that's pretty good for me. There's a bit of lag on this, so that's unfortunate, but oh well. And uh, I rolled double discard, which is pretty terrible, actually. Um, like, really, really bad. So, hopefully an R2-D2 can do some special chaining and fix this uh, whole thing. Um, yeah. I really would like to get the Hellfire Droid tank out this round. Because if I can start getting out this extra one indirect every time I play a vehicle, that will help significantly against uh, this horrible mess. What He's rolled three blanks, which is, wow. I, I kind of really, really wish I'd kept the... Uh, ugh, I'm rolling terribly as well. We're both rolling very bad in, in general here. Um, he eventually gets a discard side. That kind of sucks me. I don't think he's going to be removing a vehicle dice of mine this round, so I think I'm free to just discard and reroll literally everything here. And I get a special on R2-D2. Alright, that, that can do some special chaining at least. Uh, because I really didn't want to roll out the rookie pilot until after I've rolled out one of these vehicles, you know, so I can get the um, so I can get the reroll. Now this is only a best of one, so this is what counts. Okay, the old medic goes away. He's still he's hitting disrupt sides, which uh, scares me significantly. Um, he still has to get to long term planning as well. Uh, but at least he's not hitting indirect, which could actually, you know, kill me. Um, so yeah, I think I will R2-D2 to draw a card. 
And uh, yeah, so that's a chance cube. Um, that's actually really, really good. So let's do that and then uh, pass to you. Because I would like to chance cube with this uh, rookie part. That, that chance cube might actually save me here and let me play this uh, Hellfire Droid and stuff. So he's going to discard. He's discarding Garbage Shoot, which, you know, Garbage Shoot's really good. Uh, he gets four indirect off of this. Um, the special chaining, though, would allow me to steal the resource if he takes it. Um, so he's got to be worried about that. Now, I assume that um, he's running Resistance Craft Speeder, Crate Speeder, sorry, and he's running the uh, modified HWK um, for the Rose, which could be scary. Now, one thing I definitely have going for me, though, is my consistency. He does not have blue either, which is quite nice. So let's uh, do one here and one here. And then I lose the top two cards. Ah, I lose my other Hellfire Droid. Oh, that sucks. And then another two indirect. Yeah, okay. Let's just do two to the Yoda. Sure. I am very worried about this Y-Wing stuff. Uh, honestly, I, I really am. But it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's pay my resource. Boo, boo, boo. Nice roll. And a blank. Oh, uh, well. He's going to take the resource. Okay. Um, do I steal that resource or just disrupt that resource? Um, that's a good question. I've kind of got two Ezra, Ezra disrupts here and I would like to... Keep, I, I think I want to keep one of them and use it as a range, right? Because I could end up doing a lot of range damage and almost killing the rose early. So I think I will steal. Um, that only get me two resources, though. I can then play the crate speeder, focus this and stuff, try and get more. Uh, I would like to get the Hellfire Droid tank out first, and that requires me to get the chance cube to a three side. Um, so maybe it disrupts better for that. Yeah, we'll, we'll disrupt. Alright, then he long-term plans. Yep. Totally understandable. I will uh, take the resource and turn to the three. Alright, and he hits a speeder. He's hitting a lot of good vehicles so far, but that's fine. He's going to be able to claim the battlefield as well here, assuming he's not going to reroll the Y-Wing bunch. Um, if that Y-Wing does hit a 4, though, that's that hit special, that does really scare me. Uh, but he keeps hitting the 2 disrupts, which is fine by me, so I'm going to play the Hellfire Droid for 4. Uh, and nice, it spawns. Cool. Um, we're playing on Agent, Elra uh, Agent Elrond's um, mod, which uh, is, like, updated. And I rolled the worst side. Uh, that's typical. Um, we're playing on Agent Elrond's, uh, mod, which, yeah, I can't actually play this Resistance Craft Speeder. I should have played that out first and then use the, hmm. He passes. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting pass. Well, he's probably waiting for this two disrupt side, uh, because I can't play the three for one here. Um, yeah, I'll take a shield then. Sure. Yeah, we're playing on Agent Elrond, sorry, we're playing on Agent Elrond's Super Destiny mod. Which has a modern and a um, classic. We're currently playing on classic. Uh, yep, he passed again. Um, pass again, alright, fine, I'll do another four to the... Four to the Rose, because Rose is scary. Ooh, ooh, some, there is a bit of lag going on here. And then he claims, yeah. So that, that's fine. He's he only has the Y wing out, but he's that long term plan does scare me significantly. Once that gets, oh, nope, only two resources. Once that gets um, high, he's gonna be able to start discarding a lot of cards from my hand. Uh, and I drew Rally Aiden four vehicles. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll definitely take that. Uh, don't. Let's fix the token alignments there. Um, 
and yeah the the super mod i i highly recommend you guys uh looking into it um it's got a bunch of nifty features um for example all the dice spawn that's great but there's also a modern and on the modern instead of having tokens they're just their numbers that you can flick between and plus and minus them and what the hell was that roll i've never seen them go in the air like that before that was that was impressive but, all right let's roll out ezra disruption is special that's nice that threatens his resources Quite heavily there. And with the... With the Rally Aid, um, this is going to be quite good against him. Uh, so yeah, let's just steal that last resource. Probably had nothing, but you know, just in case. Things hanging in the air. Resource side, okay. Um, so this is going to allow him to take a resource of this, and then he's going to use this special to, to remove the damage side. Um, so I'm going to roll in Yoda here so that I can steal his resource. Yeah, so I can steal his resource if he does use that Rose special, which I'm sure he wants to do. Yeah. Um, so he gets two resources off this. Now, I could disrupt both of these. Um, but I think it's better for me to just steal it. Um, yeah, so let's take a resource, turn a die, take a resource, turn a die, steal. So this way he's going to have two resources rather than the potential three, which would get him a second Y-Wing out, which would be terrifying. And uh, I now have most of the resources in the world, so let's go ahead and play the Rally Aid for one. And that's going to hang in the air for a bit, um, unless the lag happens. There we go. Now, I do sometimes have really good ping with this guy, and sometimes I just don't. I don't, I don't really get what that is, but... He rolls in and gets a blank on the Jetta. Okay, that sucks for him. Uh, rally aid, and I hit the Y-Wing. Alright. So I get to Y-Wing for one. Which, of course, is one more indirect, because that's... Because uh, that's the Hellfire droid. And this just provides so much pressure. Uh, two indirect, okay. Now, he's providing a lot of pressure to my deck at the moment, though. Um, which is, of course, very scary. Uh, do I just start rolling things in? I think I do. I think I'll... No, no, I want to I wanna use the rookie pilot's ability here. So let's... Uh, here, two indirect. That's not the best he could have rolled. I would have been okay hitting the two disrupt here, honestly. Okay, two indirect. I'll um, take a shield damage off both, and then I lose two cards. Caution and Caution, okay. Uh, they could have been nice, but I could have definitely lost more. Let's roll in the uh, R2-D2. If I get a special, I can definitely roll in this rookie. Now I get a Disrupt. Interesting. Disrupt might be worth resolving on R2 here. Maybe. Well, either way, I'm going to roll in the rookie pilot now. I'm going to pay the one for this, uh, because I might re-roll one of these. With what I'm getting at the moment, uh, which allows me to reroll this from a two indirect to a two disrupt. Okay, that two disrupt is I think worth resolving. I genuinely believe that. Uh, but that long-term plan really scares me. He's getting to build that up quite heavily at the moment. Discards to reroll. That's interesting because he could have spent his resources instead. He gets another two indirect. Maybe a single disrupt's fine. I don't need two disrupting. Did he say something? No, he didn't. Okay. Let's uh, let's move the Y-Wing. Uh, let's play the Fang Fighter for three. Which, of course, has Ambush. And I get to do a point of damage. And th this damage is just building up over time, man. Just over time. It cost me four to play this thing, which is quite significantly expensive. And discard, great. This is very expensive for what you get. Uh, you don't get a bad die by any stretch of the imagination, but this is definitely a th more of a three-cost die to me. Um, maybe about like a 3.2 because of the no blank and that triple dis triple in the right side. All right, he's going to heal too for a resource. I'm perfectly willing for him to discard, spend a resource on that. Um, he's got two cards left in hand. I think I am going to go ahead and disrupt one just to, just to remove the last. Just in case, even though I don't think he actually has anything, because otherwise he would have done other things with long-term plan, I think. And then if he discards and gets nothing, I'll probably resolve this discard side. 
And then that leaves me with the Y-Wing and the Hellfire Droid to do something with. Oh, easy pickings. I did get rid of... So I did do good with that. Oh, unfortunately he did roll well with this Y-Wing and stuff. So two cards in hand here. So I'm going to have to discard one and, in order to do this re-roll. And then he's going to be able to get rid of the other. Um, and I rolled terribly. Um, so there goes the other resistance speeder. Here comes the Y-Wing. Okay, good. I got a special. I was going to say, because otherwise these are some really bad re rolls all around. So he's going to be able to do four here. So let's put two into the two into the rookie, one into the Ezra, and one into the Yoda. That's six, seven, four. Yeah, I guess. guess that'll have to do. Now, so let's also Y-Wing for four. Uh... Okay, he long-term plans here, um, so I could claim, uh, which means he has one less resource, but I have kind of used up all my vehicles already, like one, two, three, four, five, and I've got three on the board, right? So I've only got one Y-Wing and one Fang Fighter left in the deck, I think, uh, and the black one, I think. Um, I swapped out the I swapped out the Boomers for the Hellfire Droid tanks. I think I really like Boomers, but I'm not taking, I'm not using them. But I think I do need to just do damage, so I'll take the resource. He's going to discard to reroll. Well, he can't afford to resolve this if I'm going to do the... Th he can't afford to claim, should I say. Um, he can't get to claim and also take the resource. So, you know, he was going to take the resource anyway, effectively, from the claim. So he really just wasted that. Um, but, I mean, it is a free-floating resource, which gives, which is something, I guess. Alright, Mechanical Insight for a droid or a pod racer. I guess I could potentially pick up the C-3PO. Because uh, I don't run pod racers. And I only run one C-3PO. It's the last thing. Um, I did get the black one, which is the last vehicle, which is good. Uh, Rally 8 I don't care about in the slightest. And then an easy pickings, which is of course nice. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really need to Mechanical Insight. I've got plenty of stuff here in general. Um, so I think I just threaten with the Ezra early again. I haven't been using Ezra's dice for damage, but he's been really, really slowing my opponent down. He only has two vehicles out still. But the modified HWK might change things quite significantly. Which seems to be what he's about to play. No, he's going to play the Anakin Skywalker Pod Racer to discard a card from the top of my deck. It's kind of a mill damage hybrid, which is kind of weird. He's going to heal for again. All right. Well, that's how he uses both resources. Uh, sorry, all three resources, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. Let's roll out the Yoda then. Let's get options for myself. Discard and a Disrupt. Not good options. Definitely not good options there. And long-term planning's already at two. So at this point, he can start resolving long-term planning and be fine with that. Uh, and that is very significant damage to deal to me. Uh, let me move this over here, actually. Um, alright, let's roll in R2-D2 so I can threaten some, um, Yoda special chaining if I decide I need, hmm, need shields. Well, I did roll a shield on R2, I guess. Alright, two indirect, one into the rookie pilot, one into the Ezra, and then I lose top two cards in my deck again. The Y-Wing and the other mechanical insight. Okay, so I pretty much guarantee, so I've got 50-50 of hitting the C-3PO if I want it. The question is if I want it, and I'm not sure I want it. Um, hmm. Alright, let's roll out the Fang Fighter here. Now, four solution isn't great here anymore. Ooh, three, nice. Four solution is not great here anymore because I can four solution the Y Wing and then lose the top four cards in my deck, which means I'm going to have five cards left by the end of this, which puts me square in getting milled out by Jeddah Parson territory. Uh, he kind of. The Jedi Parson kind of went invisible there, which was weird. A discard side. So he can do a discard for three on the long-term plan if he wants, and that scares me heavily. Um, nothing I can really do about that. Uh, so let's roll out this Hellfire Droid tank. Let's see if I can hit the other three. I hit three indirect. I'll take that. Now he can discard three from my hand if he wants. And that uses up his long-term plan, but that is very strong, because then I definitely am not playing the Force Illusion. Right. Force Illusion would block four. And four is good, but I'm more likely to die to mill at this point, I think, with this Anakin and stuff. 
Um, he's rolled nothing really that's, that links with the Y-Wing, so I can't easy pickings very easily. <laughs> easily, easily. Um, yeah, I guess I just roll in the last Y-Wing and go for maximum everything. Yeah, that's another four. That's that's good right there. Um, I'm looking at 710 damage so far. And I mean, he's taken a good amount. Two range, yeah. So I mean, uh, that two range does kill the rookie. Um, so I better roll in the rookie now and pull the chance cube up to me hand. And I'm not gonna use rookie's ability. Uh, the long term planning can make that into a five, which kills Ezra. Um, but he's going to kill the rookie. Okay. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'd really like to get this black one out before I start doing stuff, which would mean I need to use my Yoda. Um... I mean, these are all good sides, but, like, he's not stopping me here from anything. So I think I can afford to discard something. Actually, this Force Illusion is even more worthless. Let's discard this Force Illusion and let's reroll five. If I hit some more Ezra damage, that's also really good. Uh, hit some Ezra damage, hit the R2 special, which is nice. I won't be using the Rally Aid anymore, I don't think. It did its job. Okay. Get a long term plan, discard three from my hand. Lose the easy pickings to rally aid in the mechanical insight. I'm okay with losing all three of those. Um so let's R2 to draw a card into the garbage shoot. Interesting. And then turn a die, which will be the Yoda. Uh, Yoda is gonna turn to the plus two and give me a resource, and then this Yoda is gonna give me a shield and a resource. That gives me the four resources. Even though I only need three for the black one, it gives me four resources. Probably only needed that one. Probably could have instead of getting that extra resource, maybe turned to die. Or just saved it and then turned the black one later. That would have made a lot of sense, actually. A single shield on Rose, and then discards the top card of my deck. Which is the other defensive racing. That's fine. Uh, I'm at six damage. Um... Yeah, let's just play the black one uh, for three here. Which then does the damage because of Hellfire Droid. Hellfire Droid has done three indirect so far, so it's definitely paid it's paid off. And with all this indirect, he's going to have a lot of problems. I mean, how much health does he have right now? I mean, he's got four, eight. He's got eight and seven. And I have seven, ten, thirteen so far. Um, so if this rolls a three, he's dead at the moment. That's just the reality of it. Um, so yeah, let's just start resolving things right now. Why wing go? Before, and as soon as if he puts even a single point of damage onto that rose, uh, rose is dead, which forces him to put the damage on the weaker targets. Um, which I can then snipe off with a one ranged if I want to now. Uh, but, I mean, this does mean that I can't use the plus two. He's smart to to do it in that way. But at the same time, I'm perfectly willing to just start breaking through that shield on uh, on Rose. I mean, that's, that shield is so disruptive to my efforts. <laughs> All right. Uh, he gets a two indirect and a two ranged, which, okay, fair enough. Uh, that 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 does hurt. Uh, I'm not gonna lie and say it doesn't. Uh, yeah, but this isn't just the first time that he's resolved that. So, let's roll in the black one. Disrupt, not what I want to see. I can re-roll the black one a bunch of times if I need to. Um, so yeah, let's resolve the three. Because he, he, it's looking like he just can't do anything to stop me, so. 
All right, Rose, puts Rose onto five. That was a mistake. Well, no, that wasn't a mistake, actually. I need four to kill him. So he's trying to make me as inefficient as possible here. Um, but if I do... If Black One comes through... Yeah, one. Perfect. Because that one can pick off the Jetta and then re-roll. So, boom. Dead. And re-rolls the Black One. Boom to the three. That is game. That is game. GG. Boom. Boom. Black one. Yeah, right at the end. Alright, that was that was awesome. And the last seven cards in my deck were pretty rubbish, right? Yeah, the C3PO, the Fang Fighter. I, I mean, double pin down is good here, though, and the other into the garbage chute. Um, I definitely wasn't going to die this turn. Uh, so I was going to die next turn to either Mill or something, but unless he had Hyperspace Jump, I was going to be fine. I was just able to disrupt him so heavily early on um, that he just couldn't get enough out in time. Uh, it's as simple as that. He needed to be able to use long term to to be able to get resources out, and he just couldn't. And the Hellfire Droid tank. I mean, it wasn't much, but it was there, right? I will willingly pay one. Um, I'll willingly pay one for four or indirect, right? Because that's how much it did. It did four indirect, um, and also as a three cost die, it's good. It's better there. It's that die is better than three, but worse than four. Um, so for so I will gladly pay one for a four indirect plus a, and then ha pay three for that die right. Um, so very good there. Uh, didn't get to see me use uh, the newer cards like the defensive racing uh, to to throw a vehicle back in if I, if it gets lost, um, or to use mechanical insights to look for a hellfire droid tank because I like the idea of using mechanical insights to you know. Uh, thin my deck and look for these cards which are very very valuable to get out early on and we didn't see any of that but yeah interesting deck from him I was very scared of his long term plan but I managed to kill him round 3 um, so that was really nice he didn't have any removal all he had was field medic and first aid for more field medic -y. so yeah that was good it's been me Gameslay99 aka no brainer thank you for watching signing out